It is no secret that magic players love to draw cards. So today, we're going to punish them for that. So I had this deck built before Foundations released. The idea, um, we have new cards that are powered up, but uh, the idea is we're combining Razorkin, Needlehead, and Shieldred the Apocalypse. So this, surely you're familiar, 4 mana 4 fight that touch. When we draw a card, we gain 2. When the opponent draws a card, they lose 2. Then we have this, the first ability that doesn't really matter, but uh, whenever the opponent draws a card, it's going to deal 1 damage to them. So if we can get both of these, that's 3 damage per card draw. Kind of cool. And then Foundations gave us this card. It's like a, a Howling Mine on a stick. It's a 3 mana 3-2. Three, At the beginning of our upkeep, each player will draw a card. Now it's going to be us and them. And then it's another instance of when the opponent draws, they're going to lose 1 life. So if we just had one of each of these, for example, the opponent would draw two cards per turn cycle and lose four life per card drawn. And then we're going to be playing the Demon Unholy Annex package. So if you're not familiar, three mana. At the beginning of our end step, we're going to draw a card. If we control a demon, the opponent will lose two and we'll gain two or we will just lose two and it provides a demon a five mana six six. So it's a crazy card draw engine and we can negate the life loss. With Shieldred, even if we don't have a demon, we will lose two, then we'll gain two from Shieldred, and then we have Archfiend as the main way we want to uh, take advantage of this, which is a four mana six six crazy flying, kills us in four turns, but whenever a creature and opponent controls dies, they're gonna lose two. So now we have, uh, they're gonna take damage when they draw, they're gonna lose life when they draw, they're gonna lose life when they draw, they're gonna lose life when we kill their stuff, which we have lots of removal. And we might be draining them every turn with this. So fun fact, I posted a Rakdos Demons deck and someone left a comment saying the deck looked good, but we needed a, a low cost demon for the deck. And I agreed. Turns out we were both wrong because the deck won the world championship, but we got a low cost demon anyway. This card is so cool. It's a three mana, three, two. We can tap it to exile a creature card that was put into the graveyard this turn. So if we kill something and then we make a token copy of it. However, it's a nightmare and we're going to exile all other nightmare tokens we control. So we can only have one creature at a time. But the idea is we kill something and we make a copy of it. And it's another demon to count for Unholy NX. And the rest of the deck, removal, removal. We got deep cavern bats for some hand disruption. This is also hand disruption. Uh, removal, removal, and uh, we have this for fun. We could pay three for it to make target player draw three, and we can just kill people with this stuff, right? Like, if we just had these two out, for example, it's two life plus one life per card. That's three per card. So this would deal 12 damage for three mana. So uh, we could just one-shot people with this sometimes. But yeah, that's the deck. We're going to punish people for drawing. We're going to force people to draw. And we have the demons because, uh, I mean, the demon... This demon package with these two cards has just felt kind of insane. Bannable? I don't know. But it's felt really good. So that's our deck. Let's play it. And we have Shieldred and Unholy Annex. Seems fine. Turn one, duress. When it goes first, keep seven. Lilianus leaves. All right, we are going to duress. Blue deck surely is going to have some targets. They have a lot of targets. Um, This might be the reanimation thing. Yeah, so we want to take, uh, want to take this. Don't care about bounce, don't care, all the bounce stuff doesn't matter. Fortunately, I have an idea of how that deck works, so uh, we can take care of it. This bounces a creature, this bounces a non-land permanent, so it's going to bounce my, uh, my unholy annex for sure. But we got to get that out of their hand some way, so we're just going to do this, and then they can bounce it right now. They can bounce it surveil one. I didn't read this card. <laughs> I probably should have. Oh, they let me draw. Okay, nice. Exile target non-land card in a graveyard that was put there anywhere this turn. Has to be this turn. So too late for the one thing. Um, I'm very tempted to just draw more cards. If I play this, they can bounce both my things, right? They have two bounce spells. I think I'm going to just do this. They can bounce one of them, not both. If I play Shieldred, they bounce both my permanents. And the next turn, probably play Shieldred over, uh over making the demon because they can bounce the demon and it's gone forever my discard uh probably the tap land seems fine okay so we have to be aware that they can bounce a creature so i can either duress and play this or we just play shieldred or we just I, actually i'm going to do this gonna play this gonna play the needlehead it gets bounced by the 
the gift thing, auto pay. We're gonna lose four here. If I can draw this bounce spell, it frees up my ability to make these demons. Yeah, there we go. Okay, lose four. You will discard one of these. Next turn, it's probably shield or duress. Although there's a demon. So we have one, two, three, four, one, two. Let's start with the rest. See what's going on. If they tap out for counter spell, it might just be the demon. Oh, they bounce one of those. Only one mana. Um, I think we're going to go with reenact the crime now. And then we have one, two, three, one, two. So I think it's demon. We need to start gaining life. This, not a demon. Human assassin somehow. Looks like a demon, not a demon. Draw a card, drain, deal one. They do get a land, interesting. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think we're gonna start by attacking for five. And then we're gonna do this. And this. And then we'll drain some more. And then this is gonna drain for four. And now they're dead. All right, well, uh, we won first game. Opponent didn't draw enough. And uh, I think we won that game really. They did get stuck on three, but what really helped was uh, Duress picking their hand apart. Duress is very good in standard right now because even the creature-based aggro decks play a lot of spells. I guess there are more green aggro decks and those ones don't. So maybe it's gonna get worse, but the premier best aggro deck Go first and the hand sucks. Why is it always like that? Why is it? I swear. We're gonna mulligan. This is fine. We'll put a shieldred back. Before foundations, the best aggro decks were these bow based. Nope. These bow based, uh. Which of my things? Uh, prowess decks. I do need a fourth land, so we'll keep that. But now we have more creature based decks. Oh, there's also this cat deck, which is kind of cool. Um, I'm gonna crack this. Get a swamp. No, we need two red sources, don't we? Just in case we get the needlekin thing. We will cut this down, though. There's an argument to be made that I should have just done it uh, on my turn, so don't worry about... Okay, we'll cut that down. That's why you wait. That's more important. Okay. Cut that down. Hit me for two. The danger, of course, is if they have, like, a pump spell or something. Now we're getting a little bit flooded, but it's okay. We'll play this. We'll... Have go for the throat here. I'll take the two. I want to see if there's a more important threat. Second main phase. I don't know if I need to kill that. I'm just going to wait. Cliffs is awkward. Play this. Does this deck play removal? Because we are flooded. That's not removal. That's removal. But we can kill that. Get my shielded back. Um, could just play another one, but then I have to worry about weird legendary rule shenanigans. What's the ward two? All right, we'll do this. Yep. Gonna do it now, so I don't worry about protection. Um, now that we know they have auras, there's an aura that they can flash in and it gives, like, hexproof and stuff. So, do it while they're tapped out, just to be sure. We are still super, super duper flooded. Get a land out of the deck. Attack for four. Pass the turn. They'd play a fancy land. I could blow it up and get another land out of my deck. Sure. Well, that's not bad. All right. We will play this. We will... They'll gain one. Sure. Attack for four. Then they'll draw... Lose one. Lose four. Or three. Actually. When this deck starts draining the life super fast once it gets going... Okay, they do have removal. Good to know. Oh my god. <laughs> well, we'll attack for four. And we're just going to pass. At this point, I'm tempted to blow up my own land just to reduce the lands in my deck. Not going to do that. But, my god. Sure. They could have a creature land or something. I don't know. They do have removal. Well, I have plenty more where that came from. You'll gain one. Yep. 
We have removal for this. Down to four. Roaming Throne. Let's uh, kill this in response. Double um, triggered abilities of cats. Yep. Gain a life, go to five. Gain two, attack for four. They have to block. We'll play this. They'll gain one. That's fine. Lose two, back down to four. Leonin Vanguard. Give me a cut down. I want to use this card once. Nice. What's that do? When this creature enters, draw a card. Perfect. Give me a cut down. Give me any removal. Yep. Dang. But they have not enough, right? So we're gonna we're gonna play this. They'll gain one. We're going to attack for four. They block, which is perfect. I don't have to kill it, right? It just I just do this, take this, and now I draw. I mean, that, that's pretty fun. We'll play this tap land in the turn. Now you take the re, back down to five. I really like this card. This is one of those cards that you see it and you just hope it's good. Because, I don't know, the art's cool, ability's cool, kind of fun. I have another one of those. But that's okay. Hit me for two. Um, interesting. Let's start with this. You can gain one. Leyline of Hope. I mean, this is terrifying. We're going to take that one. And then, what, we attack. I don't want to, I guess I can attack with this. This is fine. I'd like to take the creature, but it's fine. I don't care if that dies. Down to uh, three, and now they, no, they're going to gain one. They're going to gain one, then they're going to lose three, down to four, or down to one, from four. So this is, creatures get plus two, plus two. This has a life link. I'm at 29 life, so I'm not in danger. That sucks. If we can kill that, though, we can get these back. And reanimate it onto our side. Sure. Oh my god, the lands. So we attack for lethal. They're forced to block. Sure. And then we don't play a land. And they're going to take one from the needle head. Nice. That was a, <laughs> a tough game. Just because the opponent kept gaining life at the same rate that we were draining it. But we got there. We were also super flooded. Alright, game three. We need one land for this to be good. We're on the draw. I want to chance it. This could be a no, a, a dead, no, no game. Bad, bad zero. Oh, it's a mistake. It was a risky keep. I'm going to get two lands. We need one. Um. This is. Okay. We're just going to cut this down. Just one land. We we'll get one land. We're going to start drawing. No. Okay. We've got one more chance. Get one more. If we get one, we'll start drawing and it'll be fine. It'll be fine. I just need the one. I need it right here. Uh, Kill this. Come on. One land. Yeah, no, it's tapped. Oh, God, it's so painful. It's fine. We'll play our stuff next turn. It's fine. We'll probably draw a fourth land and play this. Four damage to me. This is the burn deck, potentially. So, Shieldred is very useful. They got two cards. Yeah, let's play a Shieldred. They're going to have two removal spells because I have two of them. And the life gain it probably means we just win against burn. If it's the burn deck, I don't know what all the burn decks play, but uh, they haven't played a lot of burn spells, so I don't know. Maybe it's just a red aggro deck, I, I don't know. Uh, no blocks. Okay. Yep, impending. Gain two. We have five lands. Let's start by attacking for four. And we're just playing the big demon, I think? Big demon's just gonna win. Super fast. They're dead in two turns. Level up. I didn't read what this does. Non-creatures cost less. And then it adds extra damage. That's fine. It's actually going to kill them faster. Because it's going to make a token. The token's going to die and drain their life. Do this. 
Yeah, they're just dead. Because they're going to lose two. They, uh, they put themselves into lethal. And now we can just attack. Yep, gain two. Attack for ten. Well, the stack is doing pretty well. We haven't seen, uh, we haven't seen this too much, but... I mean, we have lots of powerful stuff. So far, so good. Three games, three wins. It was three games, right? I think so. Game four, I think. Well, we're gonna play this this turn, or this game. Well, we have two lands, we might not. Also, two pain lands. So, this could be uh, disastrous. Don't want to see a mountain. No mountains. Good. Fantastic. Okay, I really, really need to draw a land again. That's unfortunate. Looks like they got a bounce spell. Yep. Unsummon. That's in foundations. My god. I should play more. I'd probably know that by now. But, uh, that's cool. Very cool. Nice. So do I want to start by giving them cards, or just me to start with? I think I'm going to start with just me. You don't get cards. I have plenty of life to spare right now. I want to do this once uh, the game gets a little bit later. I don't want to feed a blue deck card right now. But I will. I will eventually. Trust me. I'm going to start doing it right now. Hey, look at these free cards. You want free cards, don't you? You do want free cards. I thought you did. Who doesn't want free cards? Okay, I guess they don't want free cards. Well, I will say that these two removal spells I have are probably dead. Never mind. It's a bit awkward. Oh, but that is perfect. We can play this first main phase. See if they have any way to protect the Jin. That's fine. They don't have any way to protect the Jin. Now... Might as well see what they have in hand first before I play the go for the throat. Okay, bounce. Another Jin. Hmm. I guess I gotta take the bounce. Because if I don't take the bounce, they just bounce and play a Jin. So I guess we're taking this. And then we're going to... I mean, we know we don't... We know they can't deal with this right now. So let's go ahead and do it. We are draining our life total super quick here. So that's a problem. I can make a demon though next turn. And we know they don't have removal. Yep. Yep. Okay. Let's get a land out of our deck. Gonna get a swamp. And then we're going to make a demon. It's a 6-6 six, six, so it can block the 5-5. Five, five. Now we draw gain 2. Shieldred's great. Now we can't block, but they're out of cards. They can deal 10, 11 at most if they have another spell. Doesn't look like they do. Okay, it's another creature. How do we win here? Hmm. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. We definitely have to play Shieldred to gain life. That leaves me with 3. So it's probably one of these... Just to block with? Or do I hope for... I, I don't think I can rely on drawing a removal spell. We're going to play this. We don't attack. Just in case. Draw that. Gain 2. Up to 7. Opponent goes to 13. Land. Alright, so we can block a 5-5. Five, five. We can block a 5-5. Five, five, and then... We can block a 5-5, five, five, take 5, go to 2. I don't want to give them the bounce spell back. But that's going to have to do. Go to 2. We're not gaining life. No, they quit? What? I mean, we can trade with Hadi Jin. Hang on. Hang on just a second. I mean, next turn we trade Hadi Jin. We have a 6-6, six, six, which means we're still draining 2. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3. I can play Fiend and another one of these. We kill Hadi Jin. Once we have the two six, they actually conceded at the perfect time. They just didn't know that I drew the Archfiend, did they? They didn't have any way to know that, right? Well, that was a very, very close and scary one. But, I mean, we did it. There is a chance they top deck like a bounce spell or something, right, though? So, still think it was a bit early. I mean, I'm like fighting for my life, thinking I'm going to lose it any minute, and then the opponent just gives up. I don't know. Weird. We can't seem to lose with this deck. Going second to Adi's. I'm. I. 
I, I, I don't want to play four pain lands anymore, man. I just, I only draw them. I swear I draw like two pain lands every game. Is there a black, red duel and uh, dusk more? I don't think I have it. I don't think I've opened any. Plays a swamp. We do get a land. That's great. We'll play this first. We'll duress. They took a long time with their opener, so that means. Okay, this, I, I don't know if I care about that. I want the Gix's command. The removal is not the, this is a weird choice, huh? The, uh, where'd it go? The saver. This is, I play it in food. Gugari food. Because of the food token, but. This doesn't look like a food deck. Or it's the weirdest, weirdest opening hand for a food deck ever. You know, I could have played this, so I had this turn too, right? That's a mistake. Whoops. Yeah, I should have played this. Took one damage. So I could have this turn two if I wanted to. I mean, it does mean I'm dealing three to myself, but... And it's also just going to get killed with the cut down. Actually, I think I'd rather have this killed by Saver than the Scrawling Crawler. Although, they saw my hand, so they know what's going on. Actually, I I'd probably want to kill this. You know, we just have lots of targets for the removal. We just so happen to get all of our two toughness things. And they just so happen to be playing Saver of all things. So what do we want to die? I have a card draw here. So I think I'm going to go with this. If they want to kill it and not draw cards, that's fine. Lose one. Down to 20. Attack for one. I go to 18. They go back to 21. Fountain port. Pass. I guess they kill it here. We still draw, but they don't lose the life. Is the uh, the smart timing. But they don't do that. So it's probably since I drew this. We play this. Then we have go for the throat. Attack for three. All right. And then play this. Auto pay. Play cut down. Yep. Do you play saver as well? They put a charge counter on that. Interesting. Man, I hate playing Blast Zone. I just never remember to use it. It's just a colorless land for me. I just, I always forget about it. Down to 16. I'm going to take the one. want to see what they play second. Maybe they could have a shielded of their own. Okay. So they still have Saver. I think this is worth it. It's a little bit scary again. If they have a shielded, it really counters my deck pretty hard. But we'll do this. Play a land. Go for the throat. Yeah, this is the most mana efficient. And the harvester and go for the throat go well together. Yep, up to three. Lose two. So they can put another one, then kill Shieldred. We'll start by attacking for four. See what happens. They take four. So let's play this. Start drawing more cards. And then play this. Because it's a demon. Does get killed by Saver. But even if this dies, Shieldred negates the life loss from this. So it's fine. They could have also killed it with Blast Zone, but they chose not to. So they're going to kill Shieldred with Blast Zone. Kill that with Saver. But we are drawing extra cards now, so we're in a pretty good spot here. Resources are low. They're going to have a Virtue, though. That's scary. Four, five, six. If they have an untapped land, they do. They could Virtue here. It has to be exactly right with the mana value, yeah. The Blob Shielder, no virtue this turn. Razor can. Let's get a land here. So we have one, two, five, six, seven. So we can make a five, five, or make a six, six. Play the Razor can Needlehead. Another saver. Weird removal choice, but sure. Draw. That's cool. So what do I have in my graveyard? Shieldred is probably what they take. Yeah. Okay, we need to end this game quick. Can we do it now? I don't have any creature lands. So that sucks. We'll do this. We will attack for six. I pass. Drain. They go to one and then draw. They're going to die from the crawler. Oh no, they can get Shieldred. Uh, they get Shieldred and then I can kill it. But I don't have a chance to kill it before before they draw, right? 
Yeah, it's gonna go on the stack. That does suck. Yep, go ahead and kill the shielded. I can also demolition field or fountain port. Yep, gaining some life. That's dead. They go to seven. Lose one, gain two, go to eight. All right, let's demolition field the pow the uh, the fountain port, the pouting fort, the fountain port. They can make a fish or something in response, if they want. They just tap it for mana. Okay. I will get a mountain. They kill my demon. Sure. We both draw. Deal one. Well, we drew a land anyway. Oh, okay. Never mind. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. So we'll do this. We will attack for three. I don't know why I'm doing it in this exact order, but here we are. All right. And then we, we're going to drain for four here. Two and four. God, this deck is crazy. This deck's crazy. I can't lose. <laughs> I don't know, man. We're just, we're, we're unstoppable. This is fine. So really need an untapped land red okay burn means we're gonna play Ooh, which do we play we should just do this now we should do this now i'd love to play deep cavern bats but let's just get this off the field unholy annex is terrifying against this deck but the good news is these deep cavern bats can steal cards and it makes them spin mana trying to get their cards back and spin cards to get their cards back and all of that is good stuff monastery swift spear Okay, this might be the loss though. Hmm. I should do that. Yeah, I think so. Let's get a black land. It's got flash. I'm going to chance it and see if we can get them to commit stuff to this. Could be a mistake because it's minus three minus three. It's not guaranteed it actually kills. I will take two. Um, We don't have to do it now, right? We let this resolve, and then we do it if they play another thing. They don't play another thing. Dang it. Dang it. Ah. Uh, hmm. Well, this sucks a whole bunch. I should have just killed it. I should have just killed it last turn and not worried about it. I tried to get too fancy here. All right. Target this. Yeah. yeah wait. But it still has two toughness. Now my deep cavern bats are awkward though. They're almost out of cards. So I feel like I kind of played this game super poorly. Okay, well, it's dead. Deals five to me. So I'm taking nine. Down to nine. Shieldred would be great if I had another land. Take that. Okay, well I can take five. If they have a monstrous rage, I'm probably dead. Dang it. All right, let's just see if I die. Okay, I don't die. Okay, that's good. Ooh, I, I'm not blocking with the bats, right? There's no way. So I think it's attack and then shielded. Maybe it should be deep cavern bats, but it could be just a land. Uh, it is pouring. Sorry if that's making my audio muffled. Well, I definitely have to block. I mean, I'm not... Not gonna not block, and if they can pump these, then I'm just dead. I shouldn't have attacked with the bats. That was a mistake. Yeah, I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm, I played this so poorly. Uh, that's okay, though. It happens. We lost to Red Aggro. We, uh, we had to lose eventually. We had to lose eventually, so of course it was to Red Aggro. I will say, though, this deck has felt incredibly good. I mean, it's just solid. Any deck with Unholy NX kind of feels. And we light on lands again, but we'll try it. All right. Black Cleave Cliffs opponent is playing black. Okay, discard. Discard one of these because we're going to be discarding a lot of our hand either way, so it's fine. Cut down. Oh, I drew three removal spells against a deck that doesn't really play uh, like removal or creatures at all. I should have just discarded a cut down actually. Fine. Discard, cut down. Oh my god, please stop drawing removal against the deck that doesn't have creatures. Can we please not do that? That'd be great. Okay. Okay. Uh, cut down. Levels up. No lands. Oh, 
kind of sometimes you don't draw lands either you know so, we, we were doing well for a while that's fine we'll discard a, a, a go for the throat maybe we discard a needle head because it's not doing anything but we'll discard a go for the throat yep discard this cut down sure land please if we land we can play this right pretty good that's fine land great play this start drawing cards that feels pretty good nice another land We'll discard go for the throat if they make me discard. If they make me discard two, it's go for the throat and uh, razor, needle, whatever that card is. The red guy. Yeah. All right, we'll start with go for the throat. They're probably going to plus Liliana. Yes. Rud this guy. We draw another one. Um, Maybe we play that first because they're going to, they have minus on Liliana. Red. Could also just make a fish and not play anything. I think I like that better. And we do it end of turn because they're not going to think about it. Draw a card. Nice. They're going to plus. We'll discard one of... Mm, maybe not one of the shielders. I'll discard the razor can. Discard this. Level up. Sure. Land. Alright, end of turn. Make a fish. So now we can sacrifice that to Liliana. Oh my god, that's actually... So good against this deck. Let's start by attacking here. Should we make another fish though? No, I think I want to play Liliana first to gain life from this. I am scared with two talents in play. I'd like to buffer my life a little bit. Do you have removal? Go for the throat. Okay. That's fine, I guess. Demolition field. Yep, sacrifice the fish. What's your last card? They're just going to level up. Okay. So it's probably make the demon. I'm just trying to keep cards in my hand. So make the demon. They're going to make me sacrifice it, but that's okay. Another land. I've got four cards in hand. They've got two cards. This isn't doing anything because I'm keeping my hand full. They're going to minus. Yes. But now I can shieldred. One, two, three, four. Well, I could technically shieldred and scrawling crawler. Puna does nothing. That's very exciting, actually. Yeah, I think it's... Shieldred. I don't have enough mana. Why did I... I miscounted. I miscounted. I'm an idiot. One, two, three, four, one, two. I don't... I'm an idiot. <laughs> it's fine. Um, we're not taking damage here. They can plus... I'll discard the land. This is fine. I just literally just miscounted. <laughs> That's crazy. Hopeless Nightmare... Um, probably the Arch Fiend. I just want all the card draw that I can get. Liliana, minus to kill Shieldred. Yep. My god. Um, probably just make a 5-5 five five this turn. Or a 6-6. Six six. Why do I always say 5-5? Five five? I say 5-5 five five every time. Make a 6-6. Six six. Now we drain, draw. We have a Duress. I mean, I think we're pretty good here. These, they just can't get us down. We're drawing way too much. Hopeless Nightmare, we'll discard the rest. They can plus. I guess we're discarding the Scrawler, or the Scrawling Crawler, whatever that thing is. So if we attack them, they go to 8, and then it's 2, 4, 6. So we'll probably just kill Liliana. We will lose 4 here, right? It is, this triggers on my upkeep. This triggers on their draw step. So I'm going to lose four, but I will, uh, I'll activate this. I'll play this. So we'll draw three, gain six, which means they won't draw with these. Yep. Yep. Land. All right. We will activate. We will play this. We will kill Liliana. Not play the land. So it's draw three, drain six, cut down, scrolling crawler, archfiend of the draw. So opponents at eight, and they're dead here. Don't draw. We just had way too much card draw for them to do anything. That's fine. We'll discard the land. Actually, it should have been cut down. Should have been cut down. One, two, three. Yeah, if I discard cut down, I can play both of these. Not that I want to. I want to keep cards in hand. Although we're drawing three per turn. Yeah, so I should have discard cut down. I didn't think about it. I just thought, okay, there we go. It's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. It, it's all fine. Attack for six. 
and then die to the enchantments. Nice. Man, this deck feels crazy good. Big fan of it. Wow. You know what guys, I'm very sad. We didn't get to kill a single opponent with Insatiable Avarice. How disappointing is that? But uh, this deck feels crazy. Ironically, the weakest card in the deck is probably this one, which was the main build around for me. I, I wanted to build a deck around this and honestly, it could probably be cut entirely for more removal or something card draw. I don't know, but uh, it's a pretty weird to have a red splash for a double red card and uh, our mana, it, th this card's very awkward. I don't know, but it, it, the deck feels great. I think you could go mono black. It, you'd save a bunch of wild cards on the mana for sure. Uh, just this uh, whole package up here, all of this 10 out of 10 and then just whatever removal, you know, and then this is just kind of whatever. But the deck feels really good. I'm not a fan of clickbait, you know. Oh, this is the best deck I've ever seen. But it's like the best deck I've played in standard for me in months. I don't know. It just, it just feels amazing. So awesome. Good deck. Will this ever be banned? Let's hope not because I'm enjoying it quite a bit. And uh, yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching, everyone. And I will see you in the next one.